hello and welcome back to another video in this video i'll be showing you how to install manjaro linux on virtualbox manjaro is a user-friendly and simple version of arch linux and it is a free and open source linux distribution that has a focus on user friendliness and accessibility and it is mainly developed in austria france and germany first of all please don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, it means a lot to me so let's leave it here and let's start the process right away so to install the manjaro linux and virtualbox in windows 11 first of all you need to download and install the virtualbox if you haven't so you just need to go through this link i'll give this link in the description box and download the virtualbox for the windows host so after downloading the virtual box, we need to download the ISO file of the Manjaro Linux. So just go to the download section. And down here you can find the official editions of the Manjaro. So there are basically three editions. Plasma Desktop, XFC Desktop and Norm Desktop. So I always prefer installing the Norm Desktop environment since it is a bit easy to use and it looks cool so you can download any of these so i'm just downloading norm desktop environment so after downloading the virtualbox exe file and the iso file of the manjaro linux you need to install the virtualbox if you haven't so basically it is just an easy process you just need to do next for a couple of time and here we go Open the virtual box and this is what virtual box look like and to set up the Manjaro Linux in the virtual box you need to click on new and after that type the operating system name and you need to choose the version as Arch Linux 64 bit since Manjaro Linux is based on Arch architecture so click on next so now you need to allocate the memory size or the ram size for the manjaro system in the virtual box so so i recommend allocating at least two gigs of ram or you can uh, allocate as much as you want as per your system capabilities so to be on safe side uh, it's always better to allocate at least four gigs now just click and create the virtual hard disk now so we are done here now we need to allocate the virtual hard drive for the manjaro system so you need to allocate at least 20 gigs so you can allocate as much as you want as per your requirement so for now i'm going to allocate 32 gigs so here we go the first setup is done for the manjaro linux now before starting the system we need to go on settings and we need to customize few things here so inside the general go to the advanced and set the this to bidirectional it will enable to copy paste uh, drag and drop the files and folders between the host system and the manjaro system now go to the system and inside the system section go to the processor and you can allocate the processor here so you can uh, leave it to 2 or you can allocate up to the green mark to be on safer side now go inside the display section and you need to allocate the bit memory so you can allocate up to this half or you can just leave it as it is uh, it isn't going to make much difference here so now you need to go to the storage section and click on the empty section and you need to add as a disk file here so go to the folder where you have downloaded the ISO file of the Manjaro Linux and select that. So here we go, we are done here. Now there is no need to customize any other settings. You can customize the required settings later on. So I'm just going to leave everything as it is for now and just click on OK. So we are done here. Now it's time to power up the Manjaro system. So here we go. Now choose the boot with open source drivers
so you can view it on full screen from here so here we go now to install Imanjaro click on launch installer and now you can choose your language and click next and you need to choose your time zone here and just click on next uh, choose the keyboard layout and after that you can check your keyboard layout here if it is working fine or not and just click on next again so now since we are installing the Manjaro system on VirtualBox choose the LSDX and install the Manjaro system here so it will automatically choose that virtual hard drive which was created previously so you can see here 32 gigs and just choose the no swap and we are done here just click on next after this now you type your full name and you need to choose your password so here we go we are done here click on next and just click on install so it may take a while so grab a coffee and check it after few minutes Manjaro Linux 21.3 has been installed in the system so we just need to click on done close it and power up the system so now you need to go to the settings and go to the storage section select this file and you just need to remove the disk from the virtual drive and click on ok so now you can boot up the system So you can see Manjaro is working perfectly fine and now in this way you can install the Manjaro on your system. You can see all of the stills in the NOM desktop environment here. So in this way you can install Manjaro Linux on the VirtualBox. So hey guys thanks for watching. If you find my video informative then I hope you give me a subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, signing off.